Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at some of our early Ashes of the Singularity DirectX 12 testing, shall we? This is also an article, so if you want the results in a written and screenshot form, I'd appreciate you taking a look. You'll find the link in, of course, the video's description. We're running Ashes on medium settings to limit the chances of being GPU bound by our R9 390, and we're naturally running the latest Catalyst drivers. More information on this is in the article. Our early results so far are startling. DirectX 12 has a staggering performance advantage over DirectX 11, regardless of the CPU configurations. DirectX 11's poor handling of multiple rendering threads is clearly showcased when DirectX 12, running on just two cores with hyperthreading, in other words an i3, totally dominates the performance of a four-core CPU with hyperthreading, also known of course as an i7. Frame rates Frame times are significantly reduced, as is driver overhead. While AMD does have a little work to do with DirectX 11's API overhead, which does slightly tilt performance even further in favour of DirectX 12, the gulf between the two APIs speak volumes. With the lower API and driver overhead, the application is free to gobble up a greater workload for running physics, draw calls and general game logic on the CPU. These results actually closely mirror those of the 3D Mark API overhead testing which we've conducted in depth. Uh, check out the article for more information. Where lower performing CPUs using DirectX 12 fresh high spec processors which are reliant on Microsoft's aging API. It's also a great sign of things to come. But do remember this is still a pre-beta build, meaning it's not necessarily representative of the final performance of or the visuals of Ashes of Singularity, no matter which version of Direct3D you're running. Finally, if you found this helpful or interesting, please leave a like and share the video. If you would perhaps even consider subscribing, with a lot more testing upcoming for the next week or two, testing out more GPU and CPU configurations and providing you with a lot more data, we do have a lot of uh, review units that we're going to be going through. But for now, take care and see you soon. Bye for now.